welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome make sure to subscribe and also to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time that i put out a new video all right so today we're going to be talking about breastfeeding and pumping and i'm just here to give you a few tips uh, that i have on these subjects as you know i have two kids two girls one two-year-old and one almost two months old that's crazy and um with both of them i did breastfeed with isabel it was a little weird so in the beginning i wasn't really able to breastfeed because she was in the nicu and also they thought she was allergic to you know protein from my milk so we started her off with um with what is it called formula and then i guess later on she was okay with my breast milk so then i started breastfeeding it was so weird but with Hope, she was full term and I started breastfeeding her right away uh, at the hospital. And so I do have a few tips that I wanna share with you uh, based on my experience. I am exclusively breastfeeding Hope. Um, she only gets bottle fed if you know I go out and I need someone to watch her or if my husband and I are like on a weekend getaway, then you know my mom will use the bottle, but she's ex exclusively breastfed. Um, and I do pump as well, because I'm starting to store milk for when she's ready to go to daycare or to go to babysitter, um, so I can have that. So my first tip is to try to feed your baby within 30 minutes, and then you can use another 30 minutes to pump and get yourself ready to either rest or go to sleep. Why I'm saying this is, once you have a newborn or a new baby, you're only you're only gonna have like two hours or at most three hours between feedings that you could use for your own personal time to rest, to clean the house, whatever you wanna do. So I recommend trying to feed your baby within 30 minutes and then use another 30 minutes to pump if you are pumping alongside. Now, I do know that babies do have their own schedule and you might not really be able to feed your baby within 30 minutes because sometimes they will eat for like five and then fall asleep, but then you know they're not really full. And so, you know, all that stuff. But if you can, and if you have gotten your baby to a rhythm, then I would recommend you, you know, feed, feed your baby within 30 minutes and then 30 minutes for pumping. And then the rest, you can, you know, do whatever you have to do before the cycle starts again. The next tip that I have for you guys is to try to use pillows or the boppy pillow or my breast friend. I personally have my breast friend. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This is my breast friend. I've had this since I had Isabel and it's been super, super helpful. Um, whenever you're breastfeeding, it does take a, a toll on your back, um, you know, your spine. So you do wanna make sure you have enough support. So if you don't have the Buffy pillow or the, my breast friend, you can use your regular pillows. Just make sure you put them around you, put one under the baby, on your elbow, whatever it is, however you wanna get comfy, just make sure you're comfortable just so you have that support. Um, I absolutely love my breast friend. It's been great for me so far. Um, one thing I love about it is that I'm able to have my hands free because you know the baby is lying, uh, is laying on it. Um, if you like, you can support your baby's head with one hand and then you have the other hand free. Um, my babies are on the smaller side and so they fit on it perfectly. Um, and so I absolutely love my breast friend and I make sure to use it for support. Now, I might not use it every single time, but when I am sitting in the couch or on the bed and I, you know, I need that comfort, I grab it and use it. The next tip is if you're pumping, aim for two letdowns. Now, one thing I've noticed is that if you're breastfeeding your baby, you let down a lot faster than you do when you're pumping, just because I feel like that baby, that skin to skin connection allows your hormones to, I guess, release things faster. But that's one thing I've noticed. And then I've noticed that if you're pumping, it does take a while to let down and that can be a little bit discouraging because you're sitting there pumping, your nipples are on fire and it's like, you're only getting like little droplets. And then once your milk lets down, you, you know, things seems like they're moving along. So try to aim for two letdowns just so you you keep stimulating your um, your breast and the, the milk ducts and everything so that you can keep up your supply. Um, typically, I've noticed that once you start pumping, your first letdown happens, at, you know, at least eight to 10 minutes into the pumping. That's what I've noticed with me. And then, so if you are pumping for at least 20 minutes, 20 to 25 or 30 minutes, 
you should be able to get a second let down. And so always aim for a second let down. The next tip I have for you is to eat something small or you know whatever you can bite or munch on while you're breastfeeding or pumping and also make sure you're drinking water because you are losing a lot of calories and you do want to keep up with um you know your supply and keep up with your strength and energy because your baby is eating what you're eating and eating from you so you do want to keep um, you know your system fed you want to keep yourself de um, not dehydrated but hydrated uh, and so just make sure you have a cup of water a glass of water or juice or you know a protein bar next to you when you're breastfeeding cookie something small to munch on just because um, you know you want to keep that uh, supply going and your energy going the next tip is to change your baby in between feedings if your baby is not getting their full feeding. So what I mean by that is if you're breastfeeding, sometimes you can notice that your baby is very, very sleepy, but then they do need to eat. So they will start breastfeeding and then like unlatch in like five minutes and you know they're not done. Or not even five minutes, like literally two minutes and you know they're not done eating and they will not, you know, latch on the boob again. So what, what I will recommend is to change your baby in between that feeding so if you want to wait till your baby starts eating before changing them do that so that once you change the baby you know they will wake up because you are messing with them they will wake up the cold breeze you know is going to pass on them and they're gonna wake up um, so that after you're done changing the baby you can try to get them to feed again at least you know that you you know you try twice and then they've They've been able to get something in their system if that doesn't work for you then obviously you do have to supplement with the bottle so you can put the breast milk in a bottle and then make sure they eat they will tend to eat from the bottle because it's easier to pull from the bottle than to pull from the breast milk so they get lazy sometimes and then just decide to fall asleep but if you have to supplement with a bottle that's okay the final tip i have for you is to pee before you breastfeed i did mention this in my previous video five tips on recovering from a third degree tear from vaginal birth um the reason why is that you know after you give birth you still do get a few contractions and they happen when you breastfeed so if you're contracting and your bladder's full you will feel a lot of pressure and it's gonna be very uncomfortable, very painful. And so you do wanna empty your bladder uh, before you start breastfeeding. That was a very helpful tip that the doctor gave me. And it's funny how she told me this after I had experienced it the first time and I didn't know what it was. And so when she came and she told me to pee before you know, breastfeeding, I was like, okay, that makes sense. Because I remember feeding my baby in the hospital when, when I gave birth to her and I was in so much pain, like I almost cried. I didn't know where, where it was coming from. And you know, I had just had, you know, stitches down there. So I thought, I don't know, I thought something was just going on that I didn't know and I was so emotional. But then I felt very relieved when the doctor told me this. And so I'm letting you guys know, just so you don't feel the way I did, because I didn't know. So yeah, make sure you pee before you start breastfeeding or pumping. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you like share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.